Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Max. And I'm Michael. And this is Movies Actually, where we give you an honest review of the movies we've meddled with so mischievously over at Maybe Movies. And on this episode, we are looking at the one and the only Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> this is the 1975 movie adaptation of the stage play written by Richard O'Brien, uh, directed by Jim Sharman, and featuring the theatrical movie debut of Tim Curry, and also starring uh, Susan Sarandon, Barry Bostwick, Richard O'Brien, Patricia Quinn, uh, Nell... What, what's her last name? I forgot. She does have a last name, but I forgot what it is. Um, but also featuring Jonathan Adams, uh, Peter Hinwood... Uh, and of course, Meatloaf. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and also for... Fans of British Light Entertainment as well, featuring somewhere in the background Christopher Biggins as well. <laughs> no, still tickles me. around somewhere in there. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everyone. Oh, of course. Oh, excuse me. Terribly sorry. Um, and also featuring the wonderful, wonderful voice of the late great Charles Gray mm. as well. Oh, of course. I would like, uh, if I may. Did you ever see? There was a thing that. You, flashed up on, on, on Facebook a while ago it was like if you can't have uh, Morgan Freeman to read your life story <laughs> who would Charles it be? Green. Charles Green, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent choice um, I think I'm going to hand over to Sam because I think this is your baby more than anything uh, well, it's, 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 I just love my life this is uh, <laughs> I've always enjoyed musicals but this is the first musical that I really enjoyed for my own sake it wasn't mm -hmm. because my nanny liked it or anybody <laughs> liked it and yeah. sort of dragged me into it I watched it on my own. I actually wanted to watch it when I was 11 because uh, it turned up on the TV guide and I went, horror show? Yeah, mum, can I watch this? And of course, she was like, no, no. And being 11, she couldn't quite explain to me why I wasn't allowed to watch it. But then it turned up on TV again when I was 14. I caught it late night and um, literally within about five minutes, I, I was just like, I love this. This is great. I absolutely love it. And it's been a love affair my whole life. I've been to see the stage show twice oh, on nice. various touring shows. Um, and well worth it, by the way. Well worth it if you ever get the chance. I have missed. I've missed the chance once to see. It. I mean, this one. I first heard about it one, um, not surprisingly, when I was at college, uh, studying drama, and everyone used to rave about it. Yeah. Uh, again, as I said, I was saying last time, that kind of indifference that I generally have about musicals until I've seen them was kind of in sort of in, in, in effect there. And I think I saw this. It must have been about five, ten years later. Uh, I, I, I must. Have, I can't even remember. Where did I see this? I'm not 100% sure. I've got a feeling it might have been a, um, a cast party after a show. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, think somebody yeah. put, put it on and I was like, what's this? <laughs> oh, ah, uh, this is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then just kind of fell in love with it, not, not surprisingly. Mm. But I understand we have a... Um, we have a virgin in the house. Do, yeah, but, uh, similar to Max, like me and musicals don't really paths too well in the past but um, I need to be more open to them and that was uh, the first time I watched it just, just now for us to all refresh it in our minds and it was hilarious it was insane uh, chaos very enjoyable and it, it, it just it happens it happens <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the best thing to say it does it, it, it does just happen it does yeah that's, that's basically how the plot goes <laughs> stuff happens I mean, again we were just talking a minute ago as I was saying I haven't seen the stage show unfortunately I do kind of feel like I need a time machine first because mm. I'd want to see it with as much of this cast as possible I'd love to see the original cast I really would it would yeah. be amazing yeah. and did all of the original cast of the theatre play the same roles in the film or was no. there a few that did not all of them Richard O'Brien was Patricia Quinn just in the film? I, the only thing I know about Patricia Quinn was that she only agreed to do the film because she loved the song, um, uh, double, sorry, uh, uh, blah, the opening song. Uh, science fiction, yeah. double feature, yes. But oh, she was yeah. gutted that she never got a chance to actually sing it, mm. but settled for lip syncing because it's her lips. Right. Yeah, the oh, lips at the beginning of the movie are Patricia Quinn's lips. Because yeah. they couldn't find anybody else with... Uh, Big enough lips, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Little Nell, yes, is from the stage show, because apparently uh, the director spotted her busking in London wow. and offered her a part in the show. Wow, there you go. That's amazing. Well, that was a good choice. So a few of the original cast, but not the whole crew. Mm. No. And mm. Tim Curry as well was from the show. Of course, yes, Tim Curry, yeah. Show, yeah. But apparently this, he didn't actually... The director um, only made about seven films. This and um, Shop Treatment was one of them. 
Do you mean Shock Treatment? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Shock Treatment. I haven't, I haven't. It's it's okay. It's not really a patch on this, but the main problem is is that the uh, the Shock Treatment didn't have the budget uh, mm. that this one got. Yeah. You know, you could tell it was a little cheaper. Yes. I think this was like 1.4 million budget, I yeah. believe. That's yeah. What I'd heard, yeah. Well, I was looking on IMDb and they said might need updating, but taking something like 226 million wow. wide. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. What I did find sort of quite interesting about this was some of the possible alternative castings. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. So apparently um, Steve Martin auditioned for Brad. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that that could have been interesting. <laughs> and I think they originally wanted uh, Vincent Price as the criminologist, but... Oh, uh, yes, they would have done, but he was... Scheduling conflict. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, that's the, a other, shame. the other two I heard about, this is fantastic. <laughs> so apparently Jagger expressed interest in playing Frank and Verta. No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be damned, I would not expect that of him. <laughs> but the best one I've had is, and this was something that was on admission by... Um, meatloaf many 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 years later and he was told that the studio's preferred choice mm. for Eddie was the king oh really mm -hmm. wow <laughs> and apparently he was interested I can see it oh that would have been <laughs> oh hmm <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah, that could have been an interesting rendition of uh, Whatever Happened to Rock and Roll. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Hot Patootie, that's the song. Hot Patootie's the song. But it's a, it's a fantastic film. Again, all shot on location here in England. One of those rare films from the 70s that was released here before the US. Which is amazing, really, when you think about it. Apparently the US version as well is slightly shorter. They generally cut out superheroes. Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Yeah. And I guess one of the other reasons you probably like it, Sam, particularly, is because it's like an ode to a lot of 30s through to 60s films, isn't it? Yeah, like, a lot of horror sci-fi. Mm. Yeah, and I grew up watching those movies, so it was like, oh, this is my wheelhouse. <laughs> I love this. This was made for people like me. Yeah, this is one of the ones that we, we, we're just going to say, go and watch it. We, we can't tell you the plot because... No. no. It's, Even it's if we try, we couldn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It gets a bit difficult in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely go and check it out. Again, whether you're a musical fan or not, please. Yeah. It's, it's, it's probably not one for the kids. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's well, it's well, it's it's not it's not truly offensive to kids, but a lot of it will go over their heads. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of it went over my head when I first saw it when I was fourteen. There's a whole bunch of stuff I missed. But I mean, in terms of what an impact it made, I mean, apparently it didn't do very well when it first came out. No, it didn't. It was a sleeper. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, late night screenings in New York became a cult thing. Um, and then people started turning up to these late night screenings that they would do of it in the costumes of characters. Yeah, I heard about this. And then they would start acting out scenes from the film in yeah. front of the film, and then they started developing this audience participation wow. process. To the point that in this 25th anniversary edition, there is even in the little booklet... A little guide to the audience participation. There is. Is yeah. it actually? Yeah. yeah, there is. There are, wow. there are rules. There are rules and at different points of what you're supposed to do. I'm sorry, I don't have any rice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the biggest rule is, is, is Brad's an asshole and, and, and Janet's a slut. Right. Yeah. So whenever somebody says their name, asshole, <laughs> slut, <laughs> just the whole way through it. And of course, when you do the stage show, they have to they have to do the show with people screaming right. this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was something else. That, again, it was something apparently he wasn't supposed to let slip. Again, many years later, Richard O'Brien um, let slip in an interview. Apparently... Barry Bostwick and Susan Sarandon were a thing at the time. Okay. Oh, okay. That explains the the, the, the chemistry. Yeah, yeah, it would do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's wonderful. Uh, again, that's, as you can probably tell, we are fully um, on board with it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Thumbs up here. Oh, of course. <laughs> um, uh, we did kind of sort of contemplate: should we get? Um, should we? <laughs> I don't think there was enough time to 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 find the appropriate attire. I, I, if really hard pressed, I might be able to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I have been known to do, to go to the stage show dressed up just a little bit. Nice. nice. <laughs> it would be again. Yeah, yeah, no, if if it did come around again, if we got to go and see it, then definitely, yeah, we'd have to. You'd enjoy yeah. it. But no, it did come around recently, and I missed it, and I can't remember why. I think it was one of those cases where, by the time I'd heard about it, it was sold out. Ah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. as is as is often the case with these things. 
But it would be difficult. It, it, again, I know you were saying earlier that it's people add little bits to it, don't they? And yeah, stuff. yeah. Um, whoever plays the parts, it, it would be hard not to see it. With a, with a... Yeah, the guys that play, whoever plays Frankenfurt especially, tends to improvise a bunch of extra lines in the play just to make it their own sort of thing. Mm. Well, if nothing else, we're, we're glad to have introduced you to this. Yeah. <laughs> and also glad to have Michael on board as well. Michael is a, is a good friend, brilliant actor, and also a great supporter of ours as well. So thank you to the Not Delirium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's an honour to be not in Delirium. I hope to be in Delirium one day, but who knows how to get there? That's the question. Well, that is that is the question. But when you do, then if he, he wants to stay there, that means one of us can go. <gasps> mm, dips. Oh, man. Oh yes, my it was kind of originally my flat, wasn't it? So I have to stay. <laughs> anyway, so please do go and check this out. You will have a wonderful time. If you have a chance to see the stage show as well, go and do that. But I think it's probably safe that that I drive because this is back country. In that case, I'll get the suitcase. Excellent. Until next time, as always, thank you for joining us. Thank you to all of our new supporters. If you do enjoy what we do here, please hit the like button, share the videos out there, and of course. Throw us a sub as well, because we're good for it. Take care. As always, guys, TTFN. It's not easy having a good time. <laughs>